<laughs> on to the independent now and a story I'm sure Leo will have one or two thoughts on. What's the scoop here, Kirst? So, uh, great news. We've reached a new record in Britain. It's a, a new June record for migrant channel crossings. Amazing. We hey, diversity of strength, so we're going to get a whole lot stronger. Uh, provisional government figures, uh, that, that's the, the government figures. There, we don't have a provisional government like the sort of provisional yeah. IRA, <laughs> unfortunately. But they, yeah. they show that 3,824 people made the journey across the channel in June. And this is right after uh, Rishi came in and said, oh, the, the measures yeah. I've put in are really working. We've, we've basically, you know, stopped cross-channel migrants. It's like, no, we just had some bad weather in May. Now, you know, we've got good weather, so loads are coming across. Uh, the total for the year so far is more than 11,000. Um, and yeah, I mean, like people say, oh, but they're, they're fleeing, you know, war and all that sort of stuff. Man, if you look at them, they're, they're mostly... The majority of them are fighting age men. They're not all coming from uh, from war torn places. No, there the are very few, are. very few mothers, very few children yeah. are there. It does seem to be, and you know, I'm, I'm sure their circumstances have been uh, distressing to say the least. And they've they've got up with a lot, and they found themselves in France, which is no fun for anyone. But still. We do have a, a specific situation here. What's amazing is if you go back to 2018, it was just four people mm. who, who came in. Did you say that? Four people. And then in, in 2019, it was 163. Then it goes up to 727. After that, it just goes crazy from yeah. 2021. The difference is unbelievable. And Sunak obviously made Stop the Boats one of his five pledges. Yeah. So I even heard, uh, I read a story the other day, people saying, will they even get rid of Sunak before the next election? I mean, they could if this gets even worse, right? Yeah. I mean, this is such an abject failure for, for his policy. But he's, he's sort of hamstrung by, by that woke blob that runs the Home Office and, and runs everything. So, you know, they've stymied his Rwanda plan. They've stymied any effort, any sensible effort that would stop these crossings. It was an extraordinary plan, the Rwanda one. I felt it was pretty ugly, but I don't, I don't like, like the idea that it was stymied by the civil service. But it did almost seem to be provocatively. I mean, it could hardly mm. have been more super villainous. To be fair, Simon, you do live in Brighton and yeah. you, you have got very, very liberal these days. I know I'm being dragged. <laughs> Endlessly, the riptide is getting me. And it's actually a sort of humanitarian thing to do. Instead of dangling the carrot, saying like, oh, if you get across the channel, if you get across the Mediterranean, you know, we can yeah. give you a nice life here. That's encouraging people to risk their lives of coming course. across, making these dangerous crossings. And as we've seen, hundreds of people are dying doing that. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I just think... Um, my ancestors fought to make Britain a, a free country and, you know, I think some energy could be put into making these other countries that are apparently so horrific uh, into free and prosperous countries as well.